Central to uh, Hebrew worship is something many of you have probably heard of. It's called the Shema. The Shema means to hear, to listen intelligently, to listen with the intent of obedience. <coughs> uh, the prayer, it's, it's, the, the, the Shema is prayed by uh, observant Jewish people every morning and every evening. It's, uh, it's in your Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 6, and also there's a, another section of it in, in Deuteronomy chapter 19. But when a Jew prays the Shema, it's interesting because the, the Shema, they always stand and they face toward the east. I have no idea what direction the east is right now. But, but they, uh, they face toward the east, and, uh, and they pray toward Jerusalem. The interesting about the Shema is it's a prayer, but it's not a prayer to God. It's, a, it's saying, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one God. Now, when a Jewish person is praying to another Jewish person, he's saying, our God, he's not like all those other gods. He's not like the God of Egypt. He's not like the God of the Babylonians who change, who are flippant, who we won't know from one day to the next if we're going to live or that we're going to die. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When a Gentile like me prays the Shema to a Jewish person, prays to Israel, it has a double meaning in that. And we're praying that also. But we're saying the God of, of, of the Apostle Paul and the God of the, of the writers of the New Testament is the Lord God of Israel. Your God, my God, same fellow. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, your God, my God. The Lord our God, the Lord God is one. And so we'll sing the Shema.
Shall 